for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shop. Sniff the Mad Cheese as always. Got another tips video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over running tips. Whether you're a run first player or you just like to have a balanced offense, which is always important, these are going to be tips you should do in every single gameplay to be a better player in general. So, as always, if you guys want to see more videos Woo! like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I've already put out quite a few on passing tips, defensive tips, stuff like that. I'll have links in the description if you didn't catch those videos. Make sure you watch this video all the way first. Other than that, let's go let's get right into the video. Now, the first thing you should do before you even get to play no matter what offense you're running passing running whatever you should always set up your audibles first and that's super important when it comes to run plays so i'm gonna go to my use the pistol week here and i'm gonna go to my set up my audibles so all you have to do is hit the left trigger or the l2 button whether you're an xbox or playstation when it comes to how to select your audibles you just want to make sure that you have run plays that go in different directions whether it's to the left to the right like the triple option or straight up the middle which is what i'm going to use the f lead read option for you just want to make sure you have multiple attack points to different areas of the field and the reason for that is simple you may have a favorite run you may have a run that works best but if you come to the line of scrimmage and you see a look that doesn't favor that run play and you didn't set up your audibles you're stuck running into a brick wall a play like this which is a very good inside run is not going to have a lot of success with an extra safety in the box uh, if your defense is tightly packed or pinched it's going to do all these things are basically going to stop this run so you always need secondary options whether it's to the opposite direction which is what the triple option is for or whether it's right up the middle which is what the f league read option is for try to to make sure you always have a plethora of run plays with different attack angles whether it's to the left to the right or straight up the center you need those additional angles because you don't know where the hole's going to be until you see your opponent's defense so in a play like this where i have an extra box defender it's really going to be easiest for me just to take it outside and make an outside run and get as much as i can but obviously i wouldn't be able to do that with the run play that i selected my next tip is how to flip a run play a lot of people think you have to flip the entire play if you see an opportunity in an opposite direction Direction. something like hitting the X or square button and then hitting the right trigger or the R2 button to flip a run play basically shifts the entire formation but a lot of people don't know that you have the option to flip a run play from a strong side to a weak side simply by hitting the right stick in the left or right direction you can see all that changes now is the running backs which is something you can do to either side as many times as you like with no penalty now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOH.com if you guys want to get your team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Or you can even get 6% off right now. They're running a promotion. Use discount code EMAIL to get 6% off anything on their on their website. They don't just do MUT. They do FIFA. They do a lot of different things. They do uh, Rocket League. All types of different games. Check them out. Link in the description below. My next tip is what to look for when deciding what run play to use. Now, it's really simple. There's only two things that you look for when it comes to running the football. Gaps, which is something that we somewhat have in the middle here over the center and guard or tackle and tight end, which really aren't that big, or outside leverage. On this particular play here, I have a little bit of a gap between the center and the guard and an even smaller gap between the right tackle and the tight end. But ultimately, there's not a lot of gaps. So inside runs against a defense like this are not going to work out very well. I do have outside leverage when it comes to my outside tight end compared to the widest box defender. So on a play like this, uh, the best thing to do is going to be switching over to some sort of stretch play and trying to take this outside. My next tip is reading a defense. I put out an entire breakdown on how to read a defense every single year, uh, specifically geared towards passing plays. But people don't realize how important it is when it comes to run plays as well, because ultimately every single defense has a strength and a weakness when it comes to run defense. The same way it has a strength and a weakness when it comes to pass defense. Like take this defense, for example. This is a cover three defense. Cover three defenses are typically weak to outside runs. Cover three and cover four, I should say, because the cornerbacks drop back immediately, uh, basically exposing outside run lanes. So if I know I have a cover three or if I have somebody I'm playing against that's running a lot of cover three defense, I know that I should immediately switch over to an outside run and try to attack those cornerbacks like I can right here. As you can see, the cornerback drops back so far that he's in no position to protect the outside run. There's really two things to notice here when it comes to cover three and cover four zone defenses. Number one, the cornerbacks start off 
eight yards deep, which is deeper than any other defense. So number one, they're already set back far enough that it exposes outside runs. Number two, when the play starts, they will immediately drop back even further, typically to about a 10 to 15 yard depth. So right here, as the guy, as soon as this guy notices that I'm running the ball outside, he's 15 yards away from me, giving me nothing but space to the outside. Now, every type of defense has a different type of weakness. That was a cover three, cover four weaknesses, which is very common. When it comes to cover two, man or zone, typically the weakness is going to be up the middle because on a play like this, similar to the cornerbacks in cover three and cover four, the safeties will have that reaction this time. So if you know someone's running a lot of cover two zone or man, the best way to attack them is right up the gut because typically the safeties will back away this time. As you can see there, they back themselves out of the play. You will see as the play starts once again, these guys immediately drop back. By the time they react, to the running play, they're both 16 to 17 yards away from the ball, making it very easy to get explosive runs right up the middle and force your opponent out of that defense. Now, when it comes to man coverages, the best way to attack man coverages is gonna be with a completely different type of run play altogether. And it's not even really a run play. Plays like this, wide receiver end arounds, wide receiver fake, zone fake jets, anything where the receiver goes in motion and takes a pitch or takes the ball from the quarterback immediately is going to be very glitchy when it comes to man coverage. And the reason for that is very simple. Uh, ultimately, when it comes to a normal pass play, if I go to a normal pass play, the second I make a motion, the defender will follow. That's something that's traditional, or at least a defender will follow. As you can see here, we have a defender react. That's something that's traditional to uh, your typical uh, man coverage alignment. They will follow because they need to because they're assigned to that guy specifically. When it comes to a play like this, you'll notice that they do not follow, giving you an immediate advantage when it comes to numbers. So since that guy doesn't follow because it's not programmed to do that, you immediately have a blocking advantage uh, that you wouldn't otherwise have in any other run play. Another way to create very easy run plays against man coverage defenses is by formation. If you have a formation like this, the pistol strong slot, where you have two receivers on one side and no receivers on the other side, you can easily create a mismatch when it comes to man defensive players. So the easiest way to do that is take an outside run once again, then we'll continue to match and go cover two man. And you'll notice when I come to the line of scrimmage here, there's no cornerback on the outside here. That's by design because there's only two cornerbacks on the field. This won't work if they don't match, but if they're matching, there's only two cornerbacks on the field so ultimately they have to be matching with the two best receivers on the field or else there's basically a linebacker covering a slot receiver which is never really going to work out so anytime that you have this look you can immediately take an outside run here because there's no defender holding the outside containment on the right side of the field next i'm going to go over motioning receivers a lot of people don't realize how many advantages you can create by motioning receivers and tight ends across even things like fullbacks all have a benefit by making a motion. Like right here, we're looking at a cover through defense. We have an extra box defender on both sides of the field, basically making it impossible to make an outside run. This is a run play that I can run, but you'll see how that extra box defender really isn't covered or blocked in any way, and he immediately makes the tackle. So there's a lot of things that I can do here to basically make him step away or give myself additional blocking. More traditionally, I can motion across the tight end, which you can see right here as a couple of things. Number one, it's gonna give me more blocking, but it also made that player step away from the box which is also very helpful. So now he's a couple of yards further away, which is gonna make this run play even easier. As you can see right here, he actually over pursues now and he's nowhere in the area to make a play. This is also very important when it comes to reading a defense once again. Whether you're running against man or zone is very important when it comes to motioning receivers. Like this particular play right here is a man coverage. So if I motion across this receiver here, you're gonna see how this completely puts my opponent at a disadvantage when it comes to running outside because now they basically switched over to the point where the cornerback is way closer to the line of scrimmage. He's way more susceptible to getting blocked now, giving me a much better opportunity to get outside to the edge. So that's that's the vid. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure to be a subscriber first of all I'll also have a video popping up probably right here uh, that'll be either passing tips or defensive tips but I'll have links in the description for all those videos because I put out videos like this pretty much every single week so be a subscriber hit the notification bell and I will be with you guys again shortly other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below